Let's talk about Warhammer 40k 9th edition tower, overpowered units, and the number of shots and dice rolls we have to make these days. Now, I had a game yesterday and I was fielding Chaos Space Marines. Now, because it's 9th edition, we haven't had a codex update, I had to go with a standard codex. Because all the 8th edition rules that used to apply to that codex were 8th edition rules and no longer apply in 9th edition. And half of the codex in the book doesn't really work that well. I mean, like moving very heavy weapons with a stratagem, that's not a thing anymore, right? So half the stratagems don't work. So it's like the hands are tied behind me back straight away. But I didn't mind that so much. I was willing to do that because I always beat this particular opponent. So I figured it would give him an edge. I didn't know how much of an edge, though. These uh, new tab codex, right? With that, he managed to wipe out half of my force in a single round of shooting. Whilst I had an average from basic troops of about 45 shots with basic weapons, he had 85 with just two squads. And he had far more men than I had. He, had. he had missed about about, I think it was about eight squads on the table. And two of them did 85 shots. Now that first turn took two hours. Two hours to do. Right? And he couldn't even see me. So the point is, I was two hours watching dice rolls. Two hours watching dices being rolled. Because he had to count 30 out at a time. It was boring. I ended up with severe backache by the end of the night. Right? And I had to call it at turn three because I had work in the morning. So I couldn't, you know, on next day. So I couldn't keep on going throughout the night until it finished. I mean, I won in the end because the objective was uh, one, just one objective middle of the board. Whoever held it at the end of the game won. So I won. Right? We had one last turn at turn three and that was it. But three turns in six hours because we're counting dice rolls. I mean, he's not the fastest guy in the world for this. He isn't. But still, the amount of dice rolls he was getting, he actually one shot killed a Predator tank using his railgun mounted on his tank. One shot killed a Predator tank. I mean, that is ridiculous. I think that's 12 to 14 wounds in one go. You know, good bang, dead. I think, I can't remember exactly, but that I was like, what the fuck? But anyhow, he cleared a whole side of the board of my troops in one round of fire because he simply had so many shots, everything died. Everything died. And the other thing is, if you compare it to a bolt gun, the bolt gun, right, fires one shot, right, is allowed to fire one shot under normal conditions. I'm not talking about rapid fire here, which needs special conditions and you've got to have the wind blowing in the right direction, looking downhill with your fingers crossed, right? Is I'm talking about things they can do all the time. They fire one shot. He gets more than that of his troops. He gets a lot more than that. He says, where you got one shot here and on a strength four, he's got a strength five weapon. So he's basically got a strength five bolt gun shooting back at me more than once. And I've got a strength four bolt gun firing one shot back at him. And I've got to get within short range to shoot it twice. So he's got a massively more powerful basic weapon, more troops firing those weapons at me. You see where I'm going? It was obvious where it was going to go once he started shooting. Because I actually worked out right that I had uh, 45 shots out of all my infantry units with basic weapons. 45 shots, that's the maximum shots I could take in that game. In just two squads with his strength five weapons, he could fire 85 with just two squads and he had eight squads so if he could fire right 85 shots with just two squads and i could fire 45 shots with all my infantry you could see the game was already predetermined it was it was going to end badly with me and this is the problem these extra shots not only slow the game down to the point where it's not fun and you end up in pain at the end of it. But it is hardly fair when the other side doesn't get that many shots. And if he did, that first turn wouldn't have been two hours long. It would have been four hours long because I'd have to do the same thing back. Now, my army was balanced, right? But he still nearly tabled me. I won because I kept my focus and kept on the objective. But he would have tabled me if it was a normal shooting game. You know, without any objectives. He would have tabled me. Now, I always beat him. Always. But this new tower, man, I couldn't compete. 
couldn't compete on any level with him. And I'm thinking that if I were to even use any ninth edition cards like Thousand Sons against a new town, the same thing would happen again. They would die. And I think the only way to combat that is to probably play Nagel. A Nagel side, something with a high toughness. Right? But even then they'd wound on a 3+, plus, so it wouldn't really be any protection, would it? So, I mean, I've also had um, Harlequins that were really overpowering thing, but that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is dice rolls, slowing the game down. Ridiculous amount of dice rolls and how it's becoming really one-sided. Now, I realise that you can't wind back the clock once you go down this road. Some units right, are simply not going to work as single shot units. So once you head down that road, you're committed to it. You're heading for a reboot. The only way you can fix it is to completely reboot the game and make people's armies obsolete. Otherwise, you just get more and more and more dice. More and more and more shots. More and more and more wounds. You spend more and more time counting dice rather than actually playing the game and working on your strategies. Which is where we're heading with uh, Warhammer 40k and then you've got rules you know that say you can uh, you can like ignore wounds on a tank and fire at normal uh, ballistic skill you know with stratagems and the way they the way they phrase some of these they've got a paragraph to say yeah you can fire normally even though you're wounded I mean that's to one sentence me say that they've got a paragraph in the tower one it's not clear my friend thought it was a way of restoring all the wounds on his tank I said, no, it's allowing you to shoot, but it just failed to make that clear. So the, the, the way they rephrase the rules is just confusing as well. That slows the game down as well. I mean, at the end, I mean, from what I've seen online, there are quite a few people a bit disgruntled about 9th edition. It is not a good rule set. Chaos still haven't had theirs updated. I mean, they, they released the Codex Mark II, but most of the new units in there came in a box set. And the only way to get a Venom Crawler is in that box set. You know? So, I mean, they haven't even released everything in it yet. I'm still waiting for all the units to be re-released. So this was like, what, four years ago? And the units that they advertised in that in the Codex, Mark II Codex, the reason for releasing that Codex, still hasn't come to pass. And already it's obsolete. <laughs> so I could have stuck with the Mark I Codex, I wouldn't have missed anything. But yeah, I think they need to reduce the dice rolls, not increase them. I think they need to reduce the attacks, not increase them. I think they need to reduce any kind of dice roll or any kind of bonus or any kind of thing and make it simple. For instance, right, one of the Codex things had a paragraph, right, that big, right, to tell them that they could fire an extra shot. A paragraph that big. By the time you finish reading that and understanding the ramifications of it, they could have just said extra shot, you know, D6 plus 1. Da -da! That's how simple it is. Instead, it's a special rule at the end to say it's D6 plus 1. Who's writing these rules? <laughs> Who's writing these rules? We need to speed this game up, right? It's taking far too long. I mean, even my, my friend isn't the fastest player in the world, right? But two hours for the first 10, because he was literally counting dice and having to read... You know, bloated rules, you know, and special things and stuff. I mean, that was absolutely ridiculous. I think we actually increased the uh, rule, the rules we played from 2000 to 2500. I think what we're going to do, because of the extra dice rolls involved in this edition, knock it down to 1500. I have much smaller armies, because quite frankly, it takes far too long to play with that amount of dice rolls to increase it too big anymore. So we're going to get smaller and smaller games because the dice rolls are taking up too much time to count. And I think that's going to be the reality of 40k in this house. Because I can't be spending two hours per turn. Six hours for three turns. I cannot be doing that. Especially when I've got work in the morning. I can't be wasting time on dice rolls because that isn't fun. That isn't where the game should be. We should be working on strategies and things like that. Not going, oh yeah, I've got to spend the next 10 minutes counting dice. Because every time he rolled his dice, I sat down. And as I said, if you've got a heavy bolt there, well not heavy bolt, a normal bolt gun, they fire one shot. Right? Normally. Not including rapid fire with special conditions around that rule. Right? They fire one shot normally. If you look at a tower, he can fire between one and three depending on the unit. And this is a strength 5 weapon, not a strength 4. 
And when I had, like I said, when I had like 45 shots from all of my men on the board, my opponent with just two squads could fire 85 shots. With just two of his squads. You're working on that out. 85 squ shots. That's what he said to me. He could fire 85 shots with just two of his squads. And I could only fire 45 with all of mine. That's all my basic infantry and basic weapons I'm talking about. See the disparity there, right? 45 shots. I get to fire about half of what he can fire with my whole army. And he's only using two squads to do that. I don't know how he manages that, but that's what he says. But it's still, I mean, if you work it out right, at three shots, right, per 10-man squad, it's going to be 60 anyway for just two, right? Whereas I still get 45. So even if he's wrong. But anyhow, this is slowing the game down. It's highly unbalanced. And he did. I mean, I won the game because I focused on the objective. But he cleared half of the board in a single round of shooting. He couldn't see anything on the first turn. But the second turn, when he could, everything he could see died. He wasn't wiping out a few units here and there. He wiped out whole squads, whole things. He one, he one shot killed a predator with his tank, with his railgun. There was nothing left alive on one side of the board after one round of shooting. I didn't even get a turn, you know? I mean, the turn where I would have shot back, there was nothing to shoot back with. It was all dead. See, this is ridiculous. I really am a fan of 9th edition. I've, after, no, I wasn't a fan of 8th edition even. 7th edition wasn't perfect either. I mean, I, the, the game I like the most is still 1st edition. First edition was a lot better. The rules were better. The, the sides were better. They just needed padding out, right? The orcs were already padded out, but now they've been dumped down to nothing. So I don't play orcs anymore. But um, anyway, yeah, the, the, we need to get the dice rolls down. Anything that speeds up the game is good. Anything that slows the game should be ruled out straight away. So if, you, if you've got an idea that's going to slow down the game, bin it. <laughs> right? You've got a feature that sort of slows down the game, scrap it, make it simpler. That's what I'm saying in this video. This is what we need to do, right? And also, a side that fires more shots with just two units than a whole army does, yeah, there's something wrong with that, I would say. There's something desperately wrong with that. See you in the next one. And don't forget, it's how weapons are strength five. Space Marines only have strength four bolt guns. <laughs>